A near riot broke out last night at the Fort Lauderdale Airport after Spirit Airlines canceled nine flights. Spirit blamed a job action by pilots. Today, a judge issued a temporary restraining order against their union. Manuel Bohorkas has more. At the Spirit Airlines ticket counter, fists and bodies were about the only things flying last night. It erupted after a week of canceled flights at four Spirit Airport hubs across the country, leaving passengers stranded and their patience short. Debbie McGrandy has had three flights canceled. Very angry, angry, angry people. Everybody had places to be and couldn't be there. Spirit is blaming a pilot work slowdown due to a contract dispute for the disruption. In a lawsuit, the airline says it has had to cancel 300 flights over the last week, impacting some 20,000 passengers, costing them $8.5 million in lost revenue. At Fort Lauderdale Airport today, it was calmer, but passengers like Mike McGrath were still frustrated. It feels like we have no control over this. busted his lip. From United to American. Hey, bud, you do that to me and I'll knock hey, you flat. You stay out of On board and in the terminal. Do you know why I'm videotaping you? Because you guys have terrible customer service. The tensions between airlines and passengers have reached a tipping point for the industry. They cannot go on this way with this kind of news day after day. Charles Leoka, president of the passenger advocacy group Travelers United, says airlines need to refocus on customer service as a top priority. All the way from the CEO right down to the gate agent. Right now, the airlines are thinking about one thing, that's profits. Spirit Airlines' Paul Barry. This isn't a customer service issue. This is a pilot issue not showing up to fly their flights. The Airline Pilots Association denies conducting a work slowdown and says it's working with the airline to resume normal operations. Scott Spirit says it's had to cancel 39 flights today due to pilot action. Manuel Bohorkas.